In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the content slider by Unlimited Elements. I will also show you how to connect the content slider to remote arrows, remote bullets, and I'm going to even show you how you can use the icon bullets to achieve sort of a vertical tab layout effect. Without no more further ado, let's get started. To get started with our layout, I'm going to open some columns over here. Let's do this preset. And I'm going to search in the widgets pane for content slider. Let's drag that inside. And inside of the section settings, I'm just going to the section. And in height, I'm going to do fit to screen just so we can center everything nicely in our canvas over here. So this is the content slider. I'm going to click on it to edit and take you over the settings. So the first setting is for autoplay. As you can see, it's playing automatically. And autoplay hover on pause. That means that when I hover over it with my mouse, it won't move anymore. So over here, if we turn on offset slider, what that does, it adds a little offset on the sides over here. And then it sort of acts like a carousel. And you can adjust the settings. So if you want just 10 pixels over here in the margin, you can change that. Or you can change the stage padding to whatever you want. You see this is 80 pixels. That just says how much of the previous and next slides it will show. And if we turn off offset slider, then we will see that we don't have those sides anymore. And we have an option to determine the animation in and animation out effects, which is really important. So offset slider on this acts sort of like a little offset carousel offset slider off you have an option to animate in and animate out awesome let's go into the items and start setting this up so i'm going to start selecting some of my images over here so the first one is going to be reflexology and over here in content icon, you can see there's an icon over here. I'm going to select none, just so it doesn't show anything. Awesome, let's do the next one. The next one is going to be, uh, let's say, Thai massage. So Thai massage. And this is a regular Elementor repeater. So this means you can delete items, you can duplicate items, uh, you can uh, reorder the items if you want by drag and drop and you can add new items this one is going to be shiatsu and let's do the last one really really quickly it's going to be salt peeling and of course i would want to normally change the text over here let's just change this to none as well this is none and this one to none Awesome, so I would normally change the text, but right now, because we're trying to do this quickly, not take too much time, then I'm going to leave that as it is. Inside of layout, you have an option to turn on or off different parts. So the first one is for the image icon. I turned it off inside of the items themselves. The title, I want to leave the title. Text, I want to leave the text. Button, if you want, you can just turn that off. I'm actually going to leave it, so we have a call to action for each one of these features or services that we're trying to showcase. And we have dots and arrows that we can turn on or off as well. So let's actually turn these off just so we can see how that looks. And now we don't have any navigation at all. Next part, let's do a little bit of styling over here. So for styling, what I'm going to do, first of all, you can change the height. Right now it's uh, like sort of in percentages. This is called viewport height can change that to pixels if you want to. This is a responsive field, of course. And alignment, this is for the content alignment. So actually what I'm going to do is snap it to the, bo to the bottom. So I'm gonna go for end and I'm going to snap it to the start over here. So it starts over here. Now that looks awesome. Also, we can add some slide radius if we want to make our slider rounded. So I'm gonna go for 20 pixels. 
looking awesome. And the next part is for overlay. So right now you can see by default there's a black 50% uh, black overlay over here. Now what I'm going to do is actually change this to a gradient color. Now what I want to do is go from black to transparent. So I'm going to change this to black. And I don't want it totally black. I'm going to give it a little bit of opacity. And for the upper black one, I'm going to go all the way down. So right now we have a really nice smooth transition over here. And I'm doing this because I do not want to leave the background color over my content. So inside of content, I'm going to take off. So let's clear our content background. And you can see how nice that looks when it's transparent. Content align, I'm going to align it to the left just so it looks a little bit neater over here. And this is starting to look really good. And the next part I'm going to do actually, since we're almost done, is I'm going into the button. And inside of the button, what I'll do is I'll make it rounded. So let's just go for some border radius. I'm going to clear the background color. And I'll just add a border. So let's go for solid over here. And that's awesome. Sort of a nice transparent, subtle button. Of course, we can take down the width over here. So let's take that down to one. Each section over here you can customize. So let's just uh, show this and maybe change the typography over here to be a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit bolder. Awesome, looking good. Next part. So we're actually almost done with the, our editing our content slider. And what I want to do is to make this a little bit more nifty, a little bit more neat, and show you the capabilities of unlimited elements is I'm going to add another widget over here on the side that will be able to control the content slider. So to do that, first of all, I'm going into content widget settings and I'm going to enable sync and remote controls just so we can add some more stuff to this little nifty widget over here. Inside of the widget pane, I have also installed the icon bullets. And these are going to be the ones that are going to control my, um, my slider over here. So we have four items and four items over here. That's a good start. Let's go into connect widget settings. And I'm going to turn on sync and enable remote control widgets and let's start styling our widget over here. So first of all, let's go into general and see what we have over here. So we have a direction a row. So this is in a row number of columns one. This is good for us and gap. If you want to change the gap between the items over here, I'm just going to change that to 10. Next part inside of the items, let's start putting in our data over here. So Let's go into the first one, and it was reflexology. And I'm just going to leave the content empty. For the icon, I'm going to upload some icons over here. So let's go to upload. And I have four little icons over here. Let's select the first one, insert. And you can see it over here. Later on, we'll change the colors just so everything adapts nicely. So reflux reflexology and the next one I think that was Thai massage upload SVG select this one next one let's take off the content shiatsu I hope I spelled that correctly Let's go for this one. Take off the content. Just we want to leave only icons and text. And the last one, let's take off the text. And that was salt peeling. Awesome. We're almost done. Let's take the icon. And uh, what we want to do, first of all, I'm going to turn off autoplay over here. And the next part, what I'll do is start styling my icon bullets over here. So let's go into style and item background. I'm going to leave that empty. So I'm going to clear it. Awesome. 
in the title, let's select some black color so we can see it. And for the icon, let's add some radius so it's rounded, so it fits our rounded corners of the content slider. And we're going to choose sort of a pinkish kind of color. Looking good. We can also adapt the width over here. So let's make that width a little bit bigger. And we can bring up the icon size over here. Next part, let's click Update. And to sync, to finally sync between these two, since we turned on sync already, all I'm going to do is just save and refresh the page. And once the page is refreshed, now each time a visitor visits the page or I edit the page, you will see that the widgets are synced. What it means that they are synced, that if I click on the different items over here, you can see that it's navigating to the items on the left side. So what this is, it's actually a, a sync effect and it sort of kind of like vertical tabs over here. So this is really awesome. Now we can go over here and uh, just add an active state for the icons. So I'm going to edit the icon bullets style tab, icon, active state. Let's add a different background color over here. Maybe something like that and maybe add a bigger width so let's go for i don't know that's too much okay this is looking awesome very nice now to center this i'm going into the column settings and vertical setting middle awesome now that's something really really nice that's a really nice layout that we've created over here now to show you the remote controls, just so you understand what that means, I'm going to search over here for remote arrows and let's put that maybe under, let's put it under our slide over here. And now you can see that I don't need to do anything. It's already connected and it's helping me navigate my slider over here. One last thing, one awesome thing I'm going to do. So I'm going to add remote bullets. Hmm, what are those? You're probably asking yourself. So let's put those inside over here. So these are navigation bullets. And you, again, you can see that it's connected automatically. What I'm going to do is add numbers inside of them. So I'm going to click show counter. That added numbers. Let's make these a little bit bigger. So I'm going to the style tab. And let's go for 20 pixels, 20 pixels, maybe even bigger. Let's go for 30 pixels and 30 pixels. And for the active state, let's leave it the same size. So just going to take off the values I have over here. So this is looking quite nice. What I want to do is place it over here on top of my slider. So what I'll do is I'll go into content. And first of all, layout, I'm going to change to row. In justify, I'm going to go to the end. And align, I'll align it to the end. So right now it's starting to place where I want. Now check out this little hack over here. Inside of Elementor, I'm going to the advanced settings of the widget, positioning. And I'm going to, first of all, let's make it inline auto. So it doesn't take the full width. And in position, I'm going to go for absolute. Now you can see it's on top over here of my slider. Let's snap it to the right and give it some offset. So let's go for 50 pixels and 50 pixels. Now that's exactly where I wanted it. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe we could go for 40. Oh, 30 looks good as well. Cool. And let's finish up the styling. So for the styling, what I'm going to do is for the active one, let's go to the active one, active text color. Let's go for the background white. And for the active background, let's go also for white. And maybe... For this one, we'll do white with a lot of opacity. And let's just change the colors. So the color, 
over here we can change it to white and the active one let's change to black now again you can play around with this all day I mean it's so fun and easy look how awesome that is now to preview this without the editor I'm going to click update and preview and voila we're done look what a custom and amazing layout we've achieved in just a couple of minutes using a content slider remote arrows icon bullets and remote bullets i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did subscribe on youtube you can ask questions in the comments i'm going to link a link to the live demo in the description and i will see you next time Thank <laughs> you.